Hi everyone, it's Miss Phantom Fangs here, just doing an update video of my rhinoceros beetle grubs. They have now morphed into beetles. I've got quite a few in here. I've got about five females and four males. Uh, the males can fight, so you do need to be wary of that. Uh, this is a male here. He's going to hiss and carry on when I pick him up. Uh, the males have the horn on their heads. He's carrying on there. And this is the female. I'll just move her over. They don't have such a, a horn on their head as compared to the male. Uh, they do love to bury in the substrate. I just had three out here, which is why I decided to do the video, but the third one is already dug down. Here he is. Okay, so to keep these guys, uh, you need to have a lot of substrate. Basically, the substrate that I've got in here is cocoa peat, mulch, and a little bit of pulpy wood mix. And it is quite deep. It's a large container because they really do enjoy burrowing. I spray them once a day to make sure they're kept moist. They like um, humidity of between 60 to 90 percent so this has a lid on it. Um, I do have a plastic pot plant hide in there but they really prefer to burrow over anything. Uh, what they eat? Soft fruit. They like mango, banana, grapes, uh, the larva eats pulpy wood leaf litter and mulch and they don't really have a water dish they just if you just miss spray the enclosure that's seems to be enough uh, lifespan is between 12 and 18 months and th basically during the day they're usually hiding underground you at night is usually when I come and feed them and I'll see that they're up the top then and you can hear the males fighting sometimes so you, you know you can house them separately if it's causing issues but it is kind of their thing that's what they do um, that noise they make is by rubbing their back I'll try and get in here about him you can see his back moving there like that won't upset him too much but yeah they're, they're great to keep they're easy to keep in groups uh, they don't need any specialized lighting or anything like that um, they can grip tightly to your hand when you pick them up and make that huffing noise but they're not too hard to to get off but yeah just wanted a few people have been asking for the update on these beetle grubs and here it is they're beetles now Alright everyone, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just please comment below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. Thanks everyone.